THM The Show presents me, Pablo Gunner, and my guests right here from the podcast that wouldn't die. What's up? This is Kevin. And this is Aaron. We're here to talk nerdy to me. We're going to talk nerdy to each other about nerdy things, of course. Truly. I'm curious as to what you think of like the new DC universe that they're setting up. Because the old one's not entirely dead yet, right? They had... There was Shazam, which I didn't see. I saw it. Well, these movies that are coming out, they're not part of the new universe unless right. they do well. Then they'll go, yeah, they are. Like even the Blue Beetle, they're like, oh, hey, people look like they like that like that trailer. But it's like, these are trailers. You know, same thing with The Flash. Like, oh, these are trailers. Oh, and, and even like there's word coming out. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be the best superhero movie. I don't believe anything that comes out until like the fans see it the people see it like even right. critics i go like you know i don't like because that movie too like was bombed pretty hard ant-man and i was like hey it wasn't as bad as you know the critics gave it and, and you know what and Sh shazam wasn't that bad either it was, it was decent but it's kind of like you know you're two episodes into a season of a show and they're like oh we're canceling it then you're like i don't really care about watching the rest of this season now because you've effectively told me it doesn't matter yeah it's crap yeah you know what I mean? So it's like, you're right. You got Blue Beetle coming up. You got Aquaman coming up. Effectively, sitting here right now, they're telling us, we've already paid for the movies, so we're just kind of dumping them. We're dumping them out there, and we're starting from scratch with, with a whole new leadership. I, it's going to hurt the films. Honestly, it's going to hurt them in a whole host of ways. Kevin Feige said, it's like, you don't reboot. You don't reboot uh, your characters, right? You kind of, you can retcon a little bit, here and there as necessary, but it shouldn't be like, oh, those other movies, they don't really count anymore. That kind of weakens the whole brand, and I kind of agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I don't waste my time, because even though, like, they may not be bad movies, you know, even if The Flash does turn out to be the greatest, you know, for my right. own personal reasons, I'm not going to see that one based off of his past. And that's serious too. Right. The shit he's going through. Yeah. That's the thing that's totally up in the air. I go, Oh, well we might switch him with a different actor, but if it does well enough, we're going to keep him just because he's a good actor. And even though he has all these personal problems and all this bad, all this bad past and stuff like Didn't that. Didn't he like kidnap somebody? Yeah. I mean, he did some serious shit. I mean, list. after all the Me Too and everything else, and it still comes down to Hollywood, can we make money off of it? Well, then who the fuck cares? <laughs> he did some shit. I mean, they didn't even release the Batwoman movie. That was I don't a movie know that, who you're talking about. That's, a, Batman, <laughs> that's what yeah. they, they made... They made a, an entire Batwoman movie. And then the new leadership looked at it and were like, uh, this isn't a good movie. We're just going to shelve it. They're putting it in a vault and we're never going to see it. And yet, Flash, full speed ahead. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I do think that James Gunn knows what he's doing. I think everything I've seen from him is is has been really solid, especially when he has that budget, when he has that control, when they allow him to do that. What he wants. People are hating on what Marvel's doing, but I go, yeah, but who's better? Is anybody doing no better? One. No one's doing better. Even with their quality lacking, people mm -hmm. still aren't surpassing the quality that they're at when it's dropped. And and that's the thing is I think they know that too. The people that make money, the people, you know, the people that run it, they go, we're still beating everybody quality wise and money wise. So what do we care if the if the quality's lacking? Until and people keep showing up to the movies. Right. Right. Until that happens where James Gunn goes, watch, I'm gonna put out something better. You guys are gonna have to step up. Because competition is the only way that people are gonna have to improve. Otherwise they'll just still, you know, just You you have to stop going to the movies, Kevin. You have to start <laughs> just stop seeing these fucking marginal movies <laughs> and telling me how fantastic they are. I didn't You're see Morpheus. like the hate crime of these shitty movies. But let me say this. I like James Gunn typically. Typically, I, I really, I thought Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, was dynamite. Dynamite. Was dynamite. I have to say, I thought the second one was good. Not as was, good. It, right. Entertaining on a hot summer day. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> fair. Fair. People loved The Suicide Squad. I was a little disappointed by it, in all honesty. Now, I saw it for free on HBO Max at home, so maybe that affected As my... As God intended. <laughs> As the director intended, absolutely. <laughs> no question. I'm open to having James Gunn kind of turn it all around. Hey, I loved Slither. James, I loved Slither from way back when. If you haven't seen Slither, 
That's James Gunn. He wrote and directed that and starred in it as well. So I'm open to a James Gunn Wait, thing Is that going the down. one with the slugs? Yes. That crawled up the lady's JJ in the bathtub? She did not crawl up her JJ, first of all. <laughs> But yes, that he he was the mastermind behind that film. Maybe, maybe his it. future films need more of that. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed. I mean, not out of hand. We'll see. But it does make me. It make gives me pause, especially with the whole uh, Black Adam debacle. How it was like setting up. Now that may have just been Dwayne Johnson going hog wild, but it's like here's this. Here's this cameo at the end with Superman. Henry Cavill. Yeah. He showed... Now, didn't... Did he quit The Witcher because he thought he was going to be back in the movies? Is that what happened? I think so, yes. So he got he got screwed. He quit that... that I don't know how... I like The Witcher. But he quit that to go back to the movies. Then they're like, oh, just kidding. Sorry. Thanks for the cameo. Adios, muchacho. Even that, I heard that had issues as well, which is... Yes. He was constantly beefing with the writers for The Witcher because he read the books. And so he'd be like, oh, oh. I should actually go like this. And they didn't want to do it... They didn't want to do it his way, which was the book's way. So he was kind of like wanting an out. So that was his out. Gotcha. I, I think everything's going to work out for him just fine anyways because he's into all kinds of other stuff like i, I heard he's, he's rich. getting he's getting into like his true passion which is the 40 warhammer 40k series that i think they're doing on amazon or, or somewhere oh, else cool. so i think he's gonna land on his feet considering <laughs> everything <laughs> he's waiting for the man from uncle part two i think if I remember correctly. <laughs> well i, I want to say uh thank you for joining me i really appreciate for joining me on this on this little quest to talk nerdy what what all do you do on your podcast what do you talk about and cover and get into we're the podcast that wouldn't die we typically talk about horror and sci-fi films mostly horror twist. mostly okay it's probably 80 20 maybe wouldn't you say <laughs> horror to sci-fi i mean we in all honesty, be more sophisticated to say we also review science fiction we we do <laughs> okay <laughs> Our next movie that we're going to talk about is The Last Starfighter. So we're trying to, to thread it in a little more if you haven't seen that late. And we haven't either. So we're going to check that out for the first time in 30 Oh, years. you haven't seen that? I thought that no. would be a pure Kevin thing. It is a pure Kevin thing. No <laughs> question. We pick these movies. Oftentimes, they're movies from our youth, as you might imagine. And we try... we tend to goof on it because we're trying to be kind of humorous but i think we're fairly respectful except for aaron maybe yeah i'm not respectful <laughs> you have to earn my respect and you're not earning it with some of these films that are coming out damn it um, that's How that's dare upset. you we have a good time okay yeah I, I mean from from your title i surmise that maybe like you had been doing this longer than anybody and i go like that's why it's the podcast that doesn't die but if you cover it's horror that makes more sense with your title and too it's like sci-fi like there are elements where there is like that sci-fi horror like alien and stuff right. like that the survivor sci-fi stuff but back to our title that was a good guess but that's not why <laughs> We, we used to have a YouTube series, the B-Movie Club, where we, it, we called it B-Movie, and maybe it started with B-Movies, then it was just random movies, and no I one watched it. Wanted. So so we quit. We decided we have faces for podcasts, so it was recommended by a nephew, so we resurrected because we will not die. We just we'll, keep going. We just although keep. we have a, we have a new YouTube uh, simulcast. So you, if you if you're dying it's, to see what we look like, here you go. Enjoy. You're welcome. Because really, it costs us nothing to just put it out there. How dare you? This is a work of art. Kevin's the editor. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah, Kelsey Aaron, nothing. <laughs> so, and then if your kids uh, they they sign off to use your likenesses, they can continue it on. Like crusty old like Peter Max Fisher's headworms. That, that's the plan. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> that's the plan. Yes. <laughs> Good lord. Awesome. Uh, so, where can we, everyone out there, find you? We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We've been doing these WTF videos where we take uh, the craziest scene of whatever movie we reviewed that week and we put that on TikTok, put that on Instagram. And like I said, 
We're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Spotify, and we're on YouTube. We're everywhere. There's, there's no escaping us. Everywhere. Awesome. Okay, do you have any final words? Live long and prosper. Awesome. So look forward to that for them. For us, it's all TNTM, the show, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube, Gmail, Hotmail, everything. Oh, me on TikTok, Pablo Gunner, and uh, talk nerdy to me.